Here we go, guys. Greek versus Persia on Big Island. First game of our King of the Hill series today, or ever, really. And we've got some Titans going at it here. SKS Anxiety versus Eerie Mill PT. Greek versus Persia on one of the largest maps in the map pool, Big Island. One of my favorite maps. A lot of different strategies you can go for on this map. Generally, being uh, pretty greedy is relatively safe just because it is a big long rush distance to your opponent's base like i'm gonna drag across the screen here and you can see it's a very long way to your opponent's base here so you know you should never count out barracks rushes and things of that nature you still need to scout for those because they are entirely possible and the map isn't so big that if you're completely unprepared for it you know it'll still do damage uh, so you do need to scout for that, but you know oftentimes we'll see players be a lot more comfortable going something like town center first or dock first or town center and a dock before any kind of production facility, so we'll see good hunts here for your email. He's got two. Now, uh, this is something that I always talk about when we go on Big Island, but it is very relevant here. If one of these players should get a dock down, and that, uh, not only is, you know, docking is always good, uh, because if there's water available, there's fish, and fishing is very, very good. Very, very, very good for your economy. And it looks like anxiety. Oh, no, I thought he was going to run up here and put a dock down, but maybe he's not. Yeah, he is, actually. So he's going to get a dock down, and the importance of this, what I wanted to talk about is uh, if you have a dock down and you're able to get out a trireme or a galley or whatever your H2 uh, military boat is. Now, this isn't, uh, you're able to send it over to your opponent's wood line. Now, this isn't always the case. Like, these wood lines won't always be in range uh, of the water, but as you can see, both of the wood lines that these players have chosen are. So, for example, Anxiety, once he reaches age 2, if he wants to spend the, you know, relatively large investment into getting a trireme out and he sends it and he perks it right here on the coast. Uh, your Emil's woodline is exposed here, and these villagers are pretty close together. Ships do, uh, do splash damage, so, you know, he's gonna be able to start raining down DPS on these villagers and just give them a real bad time here. Uh, now, if Eerie Mule reacts quickly enough, he's not gonna lose any villagers, but what he will lose is lots and lots of gathering time, as he'd be forced to run up here or, you know, deeper under this tree line just to, uh, get out of range of that trireme, so. That's always a fun play to do. I enjoy doing that quite a bit. Here is that barracks for Eerie Mule. Although he hasn't started building any Sparrow Bar yet. We'll have to see what he's going to do. Um, you know, he has scouted Anxiety. And he should see that Anxiety doesn't have any sort of barracks. He hasn't seen the dock yet, but he... Oh, he's just narrowly avoids it. He needs to uh, double back here around the wood line if he wants to see that. No, I don't know that Eerie Mule is actually going to scout this out. But he has scouted so much of the base that I think he can feel relatively comfortable... Uh, knowing that there is no <clears throat> barracks here. There is a fishing boat, and Anxiety has a guy on gold, so I'm wondering if he is planning to uh, build a trireme as soon as he ages up. Once again, I think it would be a very smart decision. I'm going to quit go to Anxiety suit. Does he know about this exposed wood line here? No, he doesn't. Although he is going to now. His scout is just running by, so you know now he sees this. Uh, we're going to see if he, he chooses to build that trireme, but I think that would be a great idea. Do some early economic damage. You already have the dock up. You don't need to build another production facility, but he is going to have to deal with some of these Swara Bar crossing the map first. He's got the barracks rallied. Uh, let's select his barracks here. Yeah, he's got the barracks rallied right here at, right before this hunt. Uh, Anxiety is going to put down his barracks now, but with just one villager, and there's already a Spara Bar here, and he's going to start poking at these villagers, and Anxiety is definitely going to get knocked off this hunt. He might actually even need to uh, redo this barracks here, or replace this barracks here somewhere. No, Eerie Mule, stay out of range. I think if he drops back a little bit and attacks this villager at a different angle, I don't think it'll be in range, because this looks pretty borderline here. Now, Spara Bar do have a lot of health, they do have a lot of Pierce Resist, so this Spara Bar is going to die, but just look at how many shots these Spara Bar are able to take. Nice micro! Backing this Spara Bar away so it doesn't get killed by the Town Center. Uh, now what the Anxiety needs to do is, you know, refocus fire this, uh, this Town Center fire onto that Spara Bar to finish it off, but I don't think he's going to be able to get a cancel here. Wow, once again, beautiful micro! Uh, both of these far bar are going to lift, but very nice micro by anxiety to, uh, you know, hammer, uh, uh, hammer at these far bar with the scout. Does able to, is able to kill two here, and anxiety has built a trireme. The trireme isn't, the, you know, the coastline isn't in a way that he can help defend this raid with the trireme, but uh, he is going to immediately send this across the map. But you know, he did get a head pass this out, and that's the end of that far bar rush. So ultimately, not a lot of damage done there. You know, Eerie Mill lost two. Sparabara, and you know, he was able to, 
to hurt this barracks pretty bad. He's able, he made uh, anxiety move some of his villagers around, but no real economic loss there. Wow, lots of spar bar here. But again, he's, they're fighting anti-infantry units, so they need to be careful. But the, this is kind of a numbers game here if they focus down the pass, but you know, they'll really do just fine. Yeah, there that is. And here comes the trireme. Anxiety sent it a little too far over here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think he's paying attention. He probably just right-clicked over here on the other side of the map. So hopefully he remembers this trireme. But yeah, there is nothing going on over here. That town center might be in range, maybe, if he parked it right here. I'm not sure, but at this point, I don't think he's going to be able to deny that. So a large group of Spar Bar running around up top here, guys. Let's get a quick villager count for our players. Uh, we've got 26 for Anxiety, 22 for Eerie Mule. So Anxiety's got the slight edge there. Uh, without having a second TC yet. But Yurimiel is his second TC is just about complete here before Anxiety's even begun gathering stone. So that uh, villager... Oh, you know what it is? That villager differential is because of these fishing boats. He's got five fishing boats out already. Wow, very large wood investment. And here is that trireme starting to hit these villagers on the wood line. And as you can see, it's doing some nice splash damage here. And Yurimiel is forced to... Ooh, he does lose one villager. Uh, doesn't manage to box that villager up when he... When he selected those. So it does lose one, and now Aramil's gonna lose a lot of wood gathering time. Oh no, he's just gonna choose right here, slightly further up the uh, wood line here. It's not gonna switch it up and go over here. So on, on Big Island, um, you know, as much as I love this map, it is kind of prone to kind of crappy spawns sometimes. Like if you lose your, you know, if you lose access to your wood line here because of a tri room like this, like what Anxiety is doing. Oftentimes, you really don't have a good alternative for your wood line. Like, this is this is pretty close. You know, you might think that this is far away, but this is pretty close compared to some of the awful spawns that we see sometimes with the wood line on Big Island. So, I think he's getting pretty lucky here. God, so many fishing boats. Six fishing boats out here for Anxiety with a seventh on the way. That is so much wood investment here. Uh, so, you know, 700 wood uh, for the fishing boats once the seventh one gets out plus 150 for the dock but it is uh, gonna really help his economy out as you can see he's floating lots of food already and he only has these six fishing boats on food uh, that means you know he's able to have a lot of villagers on wood lots on gold lots on stone he's able to boom a little bit harder even got a second dock over here that's nice you know if you're investing so much wood in these fishing boats you might as well build multiple docks to, uh, excuse me to minimize although this is kind of a weird place for the dock generally what I like to do uh, if I'm gonna commit pretty heavily to water, if I'm going to, if I'm gonna be planning on fishing uh, for the majority of the game, you know, similar to how on your wood line you rebuild storehouses to keep the walking distance, uh, you know, manageable and short for you know the best possible efficiency. I think you could do the same thing with docks, a little more expensive than a storehouse, but you know, plop them every every little bit down next to some fish in between some fish like this, you know. I do that, like alternate, you know, I put a dock here, put a dock here, put a dock here as the game goes on. And just minimize that travel distance for your fishing boats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Does also have um, net lures there, which is a really great upgrade, especially if you're going to commit so heavily to fishing. You know, another, another hundred wood, however much gold and, uh, you know, more carry capacity if it's faster gather rate. And what else do they get? They get three things. Gather rate, carry capacity, and something else. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is a good upgrade here. Anxiety does have enough for a second TC here, so we'll see where he wants to plop that down. Wow, I totally didn't see this guy. Sorry about that. I don't think I missed too much of it, though, but Anxiety's moving in with a... This is kind of a weird attack. Just a big, giant group of infantry here. Now, Irimil's got not a ton of bowmen, but he's got enough to deal with this, I think. Yeah, only a couple of talks in this army. Interesting watch post placement to keep an eye on these villagers, but... Yeah, wow, Eerie Mule, he's kind of sandwiching, he's boxing out these wood villagers, forcing them to come down here, but then they feed right into the trireme, so Eerie Mule's got to uh, micro these villagers again, otherwise he's going to lose some to this trireme. He's going to have to move these guys out of the way. And there's already some hurt villagers. Yeah, he's going to lose another one right there. Let's get another villager count here. 44 for Anxiety, 46 for Eerie Mule. So Eerie Mule's got the slight edge here. Again, that's only because he does have that second TC, but Anxiety is putting his up now. No, it is complete, so uh, we'll see if Anxiety keeps pumping out fishing boats. Eerie Mule's going to lose this uh, villager lead. And here he comes over here. There's a nice, uh, juicy target of these five villagers that he's going to lose. Wow, to all these Hypaspas and Tox. What a strange push right here from Anxiety. Can't say that I've seen this composition. There's so many Hypaspas. Uh, you know, that is going to be able to chew through the Sparrow Bar line very, very quickly, but ooh, the army getting separated now. I don't think this wall will finish, uh, but if it did, man, 
the anxiety of losing a ton of hit pass was so good idea from Eremiel. Just didn't quite get that wallet fast enough. The anxiety losing a little bit of an opportunity could have killed that villager. Would have been nice and annoying here. Ah, oh, wow. At the same time, sending a bunch of tox back into the wood line. Very, very nice multitasking here. Good multi pronged attacking from anxiety. Gonna pick off some more villagers and look at how many of these guys are hurt. You know, in a future raid, that's gonna be a lot of easy villager kills. The Pacifist coming back down. Uh, what Eremiel moves his whole army over here to deal with uh, this little tox in the Pacifist raid. Uh, and at the same time, this big group of Hepaspus is coming down here. Killed the killed the villager building the wall, and he's going to waste all the stone getting through this wall here. And Eremil desperately just needs to split up his army here. Man, he's losing lots and lots of villagers to these talks. Down to uh, 51 villagers for Anxiety and 41 for Eremil. So just a second ago, Eremil had a two-villager lead, and now he's down by 10. So that's, that's uh, pretty significant here, guys. Wow, 53 villagers to 39 now. Yeah. Really nice rating from Excited here. Beautiful multi pronged attacking. Uh, you know, Eremiel's got a big giant army here. I think he could easily deal with this. He is just not splitting up his army once again, sending the whole army down here. Anxiety has an opportunity. Yeah, he's going to come right back down here with these Epaspas. He's really picking Eremiel apart here. He's not uh, defending this multi pronged attacking very well at all. And down come these Epaspas. He's got some more villagers that he can kill up here. 13 villagers. Wow, this is very nice play from Anxiety. Playing Greek really, really well here. These Tox are still alive down here. There's no more villagers to kill, so he's just going to rain down on some storehouses and stuff. But Finally, this is going to get cleaned up. This is a, still a very large army from Eremiel. Now, Anxiety's pop is also pretty high here. Let's go back to his main base and see. Does he have a standing army over here? No, it looks like he's just continually rallying across the map. Uh, God, oh no, this is... Terrible! Oh, 20 villagers over here walking right into the Hippaspis. Now, luckily, his army's right there, so he's not going to lose too many, but man. Only losing two villagers out of that group, and yeah, he's lucky that he escorted those villagers with that army, because that would have been so many dead villagers. Now, this army is pretty large here for Eremiel. He has got slightly more pop, but much less villagers here, 61 to 45. So that means he's got a pretty beefy army compared to Anxiety. And it looks like he's going to get a really nice trade here. He's going to kill the, uh, the entirety of Anxiety's army, looks, it looks like, for very little loss here. So one way that Eremiel could get back into this game, I think, would be just a massive counterattack right now. He's got lots of Asavara, 9 Asavara. Uh, decent must bar bar 12 probably you know be nice if he had a few more for this meat shield lost some bowmen there but still is 20 uh you know now he's up by 20 pop here i think uh, yeah i think an eerie mill really has to counter attack there he knows that he didn't you know he should know that he didn't manage that uh oh wow another group of talks down here that he didn't manage the uh that that fight that well he didn't defend it super way lost more villagers than he should have uh, so, but he's, he's a smart player. I think he knows that, okay, right now, I need to make something happen. I need to even up this game a little bit. I've got this fat army here. That's my one advantage that I have in this game so far. And I need to use that advantage. Like, I need to make something happen, happen with it. Uh, I need to even up this game. So he's going to counterattack here now. It is somewhat difficult to break into a Greek base that has a lot of tox, but there's only 15 tox here. The buildings aren't necessarily built in a super defensive area. You know, this is a nice little choke, but... It's a little more open than it could be. Uh, you know, Anxiety very wisely trying to move in here to put up some guard towers, but I don't think they're going to finish in time. This army seems to have grown quite a bit. Let's see if he can manage to defend this here. Uh, Bowman in the back. Yeah, I don't think so. His Asabar just melting the Spearman up top here. There's plenty of Need Shield for Anxiety. Uh, all of the Sari are back here behind the Bowman, having their way, just killing lots and lots of Bowman here. Down to 24. Not, lots of reinforcements trickling in, but Anxiety taking the pop lead just like that. And maxing himself at 160 and 160. He does have some armory upgrades on the way as well. Wow, already has two, actually. And I don't know what Eremiel's going to do. He just got his whole army killed. Uh, I think that was a good idea to counterattack, but good macro by Anxiety. By the time Eremiel got there, he was maxed, and he had a big enough army to defend this here. Lots of Sari, lots of Spearmen, lots of Toxics. Like, he got rid of all of those Hepaspas. Very interesting. Can't see I've seen Greek uh, this matchup played like that with all those Hepaspas at the beginning. 
but you know, I think it was more the attacking that worked well, like the multi pronged attacking that worked best for him, not necessarily the bat his bath, but so I'll have to ask him about that or try that myself the next time I find myself in this matchup. Irimil already uh, reverting to farms here. Uh, looks like he tried to put down a dock, but there was this trireme over here that helped out quite a bit. And it's not good when you are on farms and your opponent is fishing. Wow, nine fishing boats here. So much food, and he is on the way to age three. Anxiety put a lot more guys on gold, so he is going to have all these uh, good champion techs to choose from now. He is breaking my rule right now of never attacking while you age up, but he does have a pretty... He probably knows. He does have a pretty big advantage right now. He just wiped most of the army of Yuri Mule. This is an acceptable time to, to counterattack here, to push in. Uh, you know, he is going to hit a tree right now. He'll immediately be able to get to Tox Champ and whatever other champion upgrade he wants. Probably um, H3 Pierce attack would be the best choice for him. Oh, he's going to get, uh, yeah, okay, he's going to get Syria Champ as well. He can afford to put up his third TC. And Irimil's struggling here, down to below 100 pops. 62 villagers to the 63 of anxiety. So we caught up there, but he's still going to tap out. GG. And Irimil, big thanks to him to start for starting us off as king and taking the first challenger. But anxiety uh, has taken this first game here, and he takes over the, uh, the E crown here. He's got the big crown on his head, and he is the king of the hill right now, guys. So if you want to challenge him, you need to bring your A game. Let's have a look at this post at these post-game stats here real quick. Total resources gathered, very nice macro from Anxiety. He did outgather it by 7k. For fairly significant in a 15-minute game. Uh, I think we, we you know we saw him have the villager lead for most of that game, especially after this really nice multi-pronged attacking where he's able to pick off a lot of those villagers. Plus, even when they were even more even, um, you know, a good nine of his villagers are fishing boats, which of course just gathers so much. Interesting, Irimil actually made more villagers throughout that game, but he just lost so many. You know, he built 96 and he's got 61 right now, so Anxiety was able to kill so many of those villagers. Uh, a lot more arm rate text for Anxiety as well. Really good game, good macro. Really even right up until that multi-pronged attacking, really nice.